Speaker. And um, we'll start by recognizing the Chairman of the Government Operations Subcommittee, Mr. Meadows, for his opening statement. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, for continuing your leadership on this particular issue. As we look at that, many of you, this is not your first rodeo. You've been here before, and sadly, we're having to still address some of the major concerns that have been raised a number of times. Obviously, uh, we will end up uh, with a new IRS commissioner in, in the coming days, and as we look at that, uh, it is critically important that we set the stage for making sure that we address these issues. There are issues that uh, TIGDA continues to identify as problem areas. Um, uh, most of my concern, I can tell you, are, are the things that continue to make headlines. You know, why do we go in and we rehire employees when we have specifically in there, do not rehire? You know, the IRS is held to a higher standard primarily because you hold the American taxpayer to a higher standard. If some of the excuses that we use uh, as taxpayers were tried out in an IRS audit, uh, they wouldn't pass the smell test. And I guess what I'm here to say is some of the things that I am still seeing happening within the IRS does not pass the smell test. Now, I've been one of the few members of Congress who have had the opportunity to come and meet with some of the IRS employees, and I, I would be remiss to not acknowledge that the vast majority of them are excellent workers and, and truly are, are doing a very, very good job for the American public. However, when we start to see that we've got uh, 213 employees who were fired, who left the IRS while under investigation for a issue of conduct or performance that really was was something that should have been addressed. We've got um, four of those employees who willfully failed to file even a tax return. Now, uh, I think the message needs to be clear. It's time to clean house. It's time to get it right. Uh, we're not going to continue to have hearing after hearing after hearing with no accountability. Uh, additionally, I'm, I'm very concerned with the number of IT recommendations that continue to not be fulfilled. And so I look forward to hearing your testimony because as we look at that, uh, IT security at the IRS should be priority number one. And yet what we have found over and over again is, is that we've got legacy systems, we've got out of date systems, and everything wants to come running back to the financial concerns, but I've, I've looked at, at the appropriations, I've looked at the numbers where they are, and there is not a linear co co uh, correlation between the amount of money that you get funded and addressing those problems. So what I wanna hear today is how are we gonna address the things that T TIGDA has brought up? We continue to see some of these mismanagement areas, and again, if we're not going to do it, I would rather hear under sworn testimony today that we're just not going to do it. Uh, I'm tired of excuses. Uh, at this point, let's get something on there. And uh, uh, again, it's very easy to become critical and have all the IRS employees think that this is about every one of them. I want to be clear. This is not about every one of them. This is about management. This is about the, the failure to put in safeguards to address things that are important to the American people. So, uh, Mr. Chairman, I appreciate your leadership, and I yield back.